close your eyes and watch your breath. When the breath comes in, think but. When it goes out, think to. But to means awake. And think of the breath going through the whole body, sweeping through the whole body. So the whole body is nourished as you breathe in, it's nourished as you breathe out. It gets cleaned by the breath each time you come in. Think of all the moods you've been gathering up over the week and think of them just being swept away by the breath. Times when you're sad, times when you're angry, times when you're upset. Otherwise they gather up in the mind, and they, like dust that gathers in the corners, corners of their house. If you don't clean the house regularly, the dust turns into little piles. The corners get dark, and who knows what's living in those piles of dust. Little animals can take up residence there, and you don't know it. You'll see the dust, and it's a normal part of your everyday life. You don't notice it very much. You take it for granted that that corner has to be dirty and dark. And as a result, all kinds of things can move into your house without you knowing it. It's the same with the mind. If you let your bad moods gather up in the mind, all kinds of defilements can live in there. Greed can live in there. Anger can live in there. These things can take over the mind. And then when they come out, you're surprised. Sometimes you do something and you mean to say one thing, you end up saying something else a lot stronger and a lot harsher than you thought you would. Or you find that some circumstances in the course of the day, things that you should be able to handle okay, you suddenly find that's just too much for you. Well, it's because you've been carrying all these other moods around with you. You haven't flushed them out, you haven't washed them out. So it takes some time every day to breathe down through the body and think of all your moods of the day just getting swept out by the breath. The time this person said something nasty to you, just sweep it out. The time that this situation came up, it was difficult, I guess sweep it out. Don't let the mind carry these things around. What you do want to carry around is your knowledge of how to keep your mind under your control and what, what's skillful and what's not skillful in life. That's the kind of thing you want to keep in mind. But as for your old moods, just let them go, let them go. Sometimes we hold on to these things for years as if there were treasures. There's not much treasure there at all. It's like a box you have. It looks pretty on the outside maybe, but when you open it up inside, it's nothing but old body parts. Nothing you'd want to keep with you. Or it's snakes and scorpions. So every day, take some time out to sweep through the mind, sweep through the body. Let all the moods of the day get washed away, get, get swept away. Don't let anything gather around. Because you begin to see more clearly when greed and anger and delusion come up, but that's normal. And John Fuang used to say that most of us live in our houses and we don't dust the house, and so new dust comes in we don't notice it because it's just added on top of the old dust. But if you were to dust your floor every day and the slightest little piece of dust came on, you'd see it. Okay, well that's a good thing. It's good that you see it and you can do something about it. Otherwise you just lie down in the dust. Lie down with all the little animals that live in the dust. That's not what you really want. You want to have a clean mind. So every morning when you wake up, wash it out, clean it out. So you face the day with a clean mind. Come back from work, clean it out again. Make sure their mind stays as clean as possible. Don't carry old moods around, because they fester and they turn into. Basically, they turn into the owners of your house. They take over. It's like the little animals that move into your house. Eventually, that the house is theirs. You don't want to live in there because there are animals everywhere. So make sure all the dusty corners get cleaned out so no little animals can move in and take over. Then it's your house and the place where you can live at your ease. This is what we want, to be able to live in the present moment with a sense of ease. So as we go through life, we're coming from a place of strength.